And the Democratic candidate for Governor Terry McAuliffe held a watch party tonight in Northern Virginia as well. Our Cameron Thompson is there tonight and he joins us now. Cam, what's the mood like where you are? Well, Bill and Candace, a lot less energy than you could hear from Jake's watch party for the Young King campaign. As we did hear from Terry McAuliffe about 30 minutes ago, and since then, the room really has emptied, as we've been told that that's the last we are going to hear from Terry McAuliffe for tonight. And his big message tonight was not a concession speech, but a let's wait and see speech is again the message that we've been hearing all night from the Democratic surrogates is that they were really banking on seeing these early vote totals if they could close the gap that we have been seeing shrink a little bit since the earlier in the night and uh, talking as well to the Speaker of the House of Delegates uh, Eileen Fillercorn and they're saying that you know the Democratic candidates for the House and for the big three ran a good campaign talking about the progress that they had made in the last eight years since McAuliffe was last governor and the General Assembly going for the Democrats over the past two years but talking with some of the supporters who came out having a little less certain than the wait and see approach that we're hearing from McAuliffe and, and Fillercore and waiting for all the results to come in and talking to a few individuals about what their takeaways were from this campaign that saw a much larger margin for McAuliffe at the start and had come down to it neck and neck in the final days and weeks of the campaign and sort of giving a tip of the hat to the uh, campaign that was run by Glenn Youngkin and the Republicans and they're saying that he kept the issues that he talked about focused more about statewide issues, about uh, education issues. You talked about what was going on in Loudoun County, like Jake had been talking about, while as McAuliffe and the Democrats really tried to make it a national campaign, bringing in former President Donald Trump and trying to attach him to Yunkin and as well what was going down in Texas with the abortion laws there and saying that maybe that the local issues is what appealed more to voters and maybe something that needs to be taken note of for the midterm elections next year. And that again, as I mentioned, McAuliffe addressing the crowd a short time ago and telling them that he's not giving up yet and that he's waiting for these results to come in as he's saying that every vote will count in this election. Folks, if I said long ago, this is a different state. When Ralph and I were elected eight years ago, we have made our state open and welcoming, but the fight continues. We got to make sure we protect women's right to choose here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. We got to make sure everybody gets quality, affordable health care here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. Everybody's entitled to a world class education here in the Commonwealth of Virginia. And we are going to continue that fight tonight and every day going forward. And again, here back at the McAuliffe watch party, things starting to break down. Uh, McAuliffe's people telling me that that is the only time we are going to hear from the former governor tonight and that they are waiting to see how the early vote comes back and more results coming in tonight and how things are shaking up and they'll reassess in the morning and let us know when we may hear from them again. Working for you in Northern Virginia, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.